Well, today's the day. I'm going to start the process of rebuilding this unit. So first I'm going to replace all the hoses. I will replace them with this hose that's designed for water, filtered water. Uh, this is usually used to hook up a refrigerator. That's the closest thing I found um, that wouldn't outgas anything poisonous. So let's uh, begin. So this is the input side, so this is the input hose. This isn't glued, is it? No, I don't think it's glued. So there's the input. Now this is the output to the membrane. Okay, let's get it removed from here. And let's cut a piece of hose for that. Next is the output. This thing decided to stay in here. That's annoying. I guess this is, well, this is the oxygen rich side, so it had a little more oxygen than it normally would. I guess that disintegrates the hose. Never would have thought that. Okay, I got all the remnants of that out, so let's that gets hooked up over here, and then let's remove the membrane return hose. So this box goes back together. Oh, actually, no, not yet. I didn't deal with the um, reject output hose yet. Well, let's leave this unbolted for now. So, And let's reconnect this before we forget where it all went. So, this is the output. This is the membrane input, which is going to be this hose right here. So let's cut that to size. in here. There you go. The output is there. This, uh, which was the input, which was the, this was the one coming back from the membrane, right? Actually, sorry, this is the output of the membrane. And then this is the output. This is the input to the membrane, and this is the one that goes to the membrane input. I think they had it like this a little bit longer. Although I think this is gonna work out better for the what I'm planning to do. So let's give this a cut. And 
let's get this plugged in. And then with our output, I could probably just leave it inside the compressor box. Just kind of leave a piece of hose in there because it doesn't really need to get out of the case. I'm going to make an external filter for the input. Um, but yeah, none of this will suffer from low oxygen. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, this thing should stay at the top. Yeah, I don't like the way this looks. Looks like this hose might end up rubbing on this. So I'll try and get those uh, grommets to sit on the outside of the case. Yeah, much better. So the other change that I need to make to this unit is, as I'm not planning to use the original circuit controls, um, and it looks like it wasn't meant to be unplugged, uh, this thing gets pretty hot, the compressor inside this box. So when it's unplugged, it's probably a good idea to keep cooling it for a while. And uh, so here's how I'm going to achieve that. I have this 12 volt power supply right here. Um, that I'm going to use to charge a couple of capacitors. And then I have this 12 volt to 5 volt DC-DC converter that I will hook up to this. And so when this is, when it's unplugged, the capacitors are going to hold quite a bit of charge that then is going to continue to run the fans for, I don't know, another, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending on the size of my capacitor pack. Um, and also, I'm going to use this to power up a chip that's going to detect when it's unplugged. And once it's unplugged, um, it's going to, if it's immediately plugged in after it's unplugged, it's going to give the compressor a minute um, before it powers it back on. And the reason for that is this is a kickstart motor, so if it's unplugged and then immediately plugged back in, um, it's going to have issues. It doesn't want to start spinning. <clears throat> now, I cannot find my super caps for some reason, um, so I'm going to assemble the power supply and the fans to verify everything is working. Um, and then I'm going to attach the super caps, uh, and, uh, build a relay circuit and attach that later. This is output that I have still haven't finished yet. So let's get this finished real quick. All right. 
right there you go so this part is done uh, let's get this part done Okay, let's attach this to here. So this is gonna hook up to a couple of super caps. All right, this right here, let's cut it here. supposed to be okay so let's give them let's give it some power and make sure everything is working odd. The fans aren't spinning. Oh, yeah they are. It just took them a second. <laughs> That's why they have that hose sticking out. It makes some noise. Oh, the motor restarts after a while. Let's see if I unplug it and plug it back in. Maybe I don't need to do the timeout circuit. Ah, it doesn't re Oh, yeah, it does restart. All right, so I don't need to worry about the timeout circuit. I just need to worry about cooling it. That makes it easier. Let's try it again. Okay, we're going to plug it back in. And there you go, it comes on. Alright, so I don't need to worry about the timeout. All I need to worry about is cooling. So I just need to throw some caps on this and uh, this project will be done. Well, and I'll have to figure out where to mount all this good stuff. I'll probably bolt this on somewhere over here. Oh, this is stuck on with sticky tape, so. Um, yeah. And then the next part is gonna be the 
case for this. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. All right.